हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी बिल्डिंग ए साउंड रिकॉर्डर एप्लीकेशन इन एच टी एम एल फाइव एंड जावा स्क्रिप्ट फॉर दिस आई एम यूजिंग ए एक्सटर्नल लाइब्रेरी कॉल्ड एस पी फाइव डॉट जे एस सो दिस इज अ डेमो ऑफ दिस एप्लीकेशन इफ आई क्लिक इट इट विल इनेबल द माइक एंड इट विल रिकॉर्ड माई वॉइस सो यू विल सी दैट नाउ इट इज रिकॉर्डिंग द वॉइस हेयर नाउ अगेन इफ आई क्लिक इट द रिकॉर्डिंग विल स्टॉप एंड इफ आई अगेन क्लिक इट इट विल प्ले द रिकॉर्डेड वॉइस एंड इट विल ऑल्सो सेव द वॉइस एज ए डब्ल्यू ए वी फाइल ऑल्सो सो यू सी दैट नाउ इट इज रिकॉर्डिंग द वॉइस हेयर नाउ अगेन इफ आई क्लिक इट सो यू कैन सी दैट इट हैज प्लेड द रिकॉर्डेड वॉइस एंड इट हैज ऑल्सो डाउनलोडेड द फाइल एज ए डब्ल्यू ए वी फाइल इफ आई अगेन प्ले दिस फाइल इट विल अगेन प्ले द रिकॉर्डेड वॉइस सो यू सी दैट now it is recording the voice so here. in this way we have uh, made this recorder application so let's start building it so first of all open your favorite text editor i am using visual studio code so you can use any text editor of your choice so as i already told you we are using a external library p5.js Uh, you can either download this library or you can just visit this website cdnjs dot com in order to get the CDN links. So I will be copying this link, and first of all, make a very simple HTML file. There is a head tag. so just give it a title that uh, recorder app app in html5 and javascript and now in the body there is no element in the body we just have to write the javascript so first of all we will load the library by including the cdn link so this is a main library p5.js and there is a subset library which is p5sound.js which will be required in order to record the voice and also play it so this is a link here i will also copy this and after you imported the main library you will again make a script tag make the source and copy this link also so now we have successfully imported both the libraries now we just need to write the basic javascript code which will be responsible for loading the microphone and also recording the voice so first of all in p5.js there is a setup method that you need to initialize so all the core functionalities will be there inside this setup method so just initialize this but before that we just need to create some variables for our mic so this is a mic variable and we also need the recorder variable also to record the voice and last we also need the sound file so this will be the actual file which will be downloaded once the recording ends and also we need a state variable so which will be initialized to 0 early on and now in the setup variable we first of all need to create some sort of canvas on which we can just record the voice so this expect two arguments x and the y position 400 comma 400 and again we need to initialize a background and here it expects a rgba color so i am providing 200 and then we need to initialize fill 0 so now if i hit uh, refresh here the application so it will create a canvas uh let me just inspect element so let me just go to the console here it is saying oh sorry we have made a mistake uh we have misspelled the spelling of background now if i refresh it you will see that a grayish kind of a background is there this is a canvas on which we will be recording our voice and now after this we need to uh have the text variable we need to write some sort some sort of text here so in order to let user enable the mic so we will say that enable mic 
and uh, click the mouse to begin recording. And then we will be providing the X and the Y coordinate on which the text will be written. So now if I refresh this you will see that the text is there and after this we just need to connect our mic in this application for this we will use the mic variable and then we will use this method of the library which is p5 dot audio in this is a method which will initialize the mic and now we need to start the mic which will mic dot start so this will actually start the mic for us so if I refresh it you will see that this red light is there if I uh, click it you will see that it is microphone allowed so it is recording my voice here it is just started the microphone it is not recording any kind of voice and now in order to record the voice we will be using the recorder variable and now we will be initializing another library which is p5 dot sound recorder and after that we will set this we will pass the mic to this recorder which is set input inside this we will pass the mic and also we will create an empty file for now for which inside which we will be storing all of our uh, sound so this will be sound file so this will be equal to new uh, p5 dot sound file so this is again a library method in order to create a sound file and inside that's it so this is empty constructor so now we have initialized all the three things we have started the mic we have started the recorder and we have also started the sound file and now after this when we click the mouse when we press the mouse there is a separate method for this which is mouse pressed so this is again a library method so when the mouse is pressed uh, first of all we just need to get the audio context so for that we just need to get audio context this line we need to write we need to resume this audio context that's it and now we need to check for the state variable that we have initialized early on state is equal to 0 the default value is 0 and now we just need to check if the state is equal to 0 and mic is enabled in order to check that we have a property of enabled so here we are checking that if the state property is equal to zero and the mic is also enabled then we just need to start our recorder so recorder dot record our sound file so we will pass the sound file that's it and also we need to change the background color to red so we will change the background to 255 zero so this will change the background to zero or oh, red color and also we just need to change the text to recording started click to stop and again we will pass 20 comma 20 and we will increment the state value to one so state plus plus and now if I refresh the application what you will see that if I click that the recording will start and the background color is changed to red color and now we need to uh, repeat this process once again we will have another if condition here if state property is equal to 1 then in that case we just need to stop the recording so we will call recorder dot stop and uh, again we need to change the background color this time to green color so 0 to 55 0 and now we just need to also change the text to recording stopped click to play and save audio file and the x and the y coordinate will be 2020 and again we just need to increment the state property to plus plus that's it 
and now if I again show you click it recording started click to stop and uh, let me just see if I go to console here fail to execute create buffer or base the number of uh, sorry we have not written that condition so that is why I think that it is we need to uh, create the second condition which will uh, uh, play the audio file so we again need to create another which is state is equal to 2 so when the state is equal to 2 we just need to play the sound file which is sound file dot play it will play the sound file and we also need to save the file as uh, a m w a v file so this is a method in order to save the uh, sound file so we will pass the sound file and now we will name this as sound dot w a v and again we will increment the state value to plus plus and now if i refresh it guys recording started click to stop it is saying that the audio context was not allowed to start just wait guys i am just looking to this issue uh, i think that you need to write this code whenever uh, the Just create a, another function here. Touch started. Touch started. So this is a function. I think that uh, S is capital here. So whenever you touch the screen, there is a function in this p5.js library. You also need to start the audio context. So here we will write uh, get audio context dot resume so just write this line here and let me just refresh this let me just refresh this just wait guys I am just uh, starting uh, my code was there starting on let me just see what was my code here then I can just guide you just wait this was the original code you can see that get audio context or resume now if I so you can see that recording stop click to play and save so this was the application guys so, so all the code is there in the video description you can just check the description and thanks very much for watching this video